ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It is not our purpose to spend too much time on this particular order of Freemasonry, the Illuminati, but we want to spend enough time so that you understand how it worked, what its purposes were, and how it affects us today. Because it's still with us today. I think at one time or another we've all questioned as to whether all that we see and, and are experiencing in our world has some sort of a rational plan behind it. Because we understand now that both the Republican and the Democratic Party in our country are basically run by the same people. The same money finances both sides. We now know, of course, through the work of many historians who have spent their life working on research to show us that both sides of world conflicts have always been financed by the same people. And as I've said before, there seems to be a, a method to the madness going on in the world. We know, of course, that we cannot depend on our leaders. Our leaders are misleaders. There is a science that they're following. They have their own agenda, and it doesn't include you. Conflicts require money and corporation. World conflicts require world banks, international monetary fund. Professional groups all have fraternal orders, doctors, attorneys, etc., have their own specific fraternal orders. In the banking world, it is the same way. They have a fraternal order. In politics, there is a fraternal order. However, we're not supposed to know anything about that because that's not our business. That fraternal order in politics and banking has been known for many years by those in the inside. It has referred, been referred to by different names in different times in different countries. The best overall name that we can give to this fraternal order which is running our country, politics, monetary, is Freemasonry. Our country, like so many before us and like so many after us, was in fact founded by Freemasons. Freemasonry has played a part in almost every government ever founded in this world. It is an operation today throughout the world. We want to establish first that what we're not talking about is Blue Masonry or the Masonic Lodges in your hometown. We're not talking about the Freemasons that live across the street from you. We're talking about a worldwide fraternal organization that is powerful enough, old enough, and wise enough to operate behind all governments in the world, behind fraternal institutions, monetary systems in the world, and yes, they are in fact connected. For instance, the idea that our country was founded by so many Freemasons and Rosicrucians, among others, we ask ourselves, why do we fold the American flag in a triangle? What does the pyramid or the triangle have to do with the American system of government on our dollar bill? If we remember that our Constitution was signed in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is referred to as the Keystone State. The reason why Pennsylvania is the Keystone State, because the Freemasons that founded this country were members of the Scottish Rite, and in that Scottish Rite there is the Royal Arch Degree. The Royal Arch Degree, and of course the Royal Arch, if you do not know, was originally because of the sun coming over the horizon in the morning made the Royal Arch. The Royal Arch Degree of Freemasons has been continually and ever busy throughout the world with their Freemasonic endeavors. The United States, as I said, founded in its constitution in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania becoming the keystone of a royal arch. 
there is much concerning this, into, uh, this material that we need to look at. Who are the Freemasons? Why are there emblems and symbols throughout the world on flags and emblems and symbols throughout the world on all sides of conflicts? Uh, we might ask ourselves about the Red Cross, the International Red Cross as a Masonic organization. They always, in every conflict, are able to go behind enemy lines. Why is the Red Cross, the International Red Cross, able to go behind enemy lines in wartime and conflict? There's a reason. The International Red Cross out of London, connected with the American Red Cross, comes from the Red Cross of St. George, the cross on the British flag, the Red Cross. That also is a Masonic institution. In our discussion of secret societies, Freemasonry, and occult orders in general, we want to talk about one that might be familiar to you, or perhaps you've heard about. It's called the Illuminati. We don't intend to spend a whole lot of time on the Illuminati, but just enough to familiarize yourself if you've never heard of the organization. It was founded in 1776 in the south of Germany by a man named Adam Weishaupt. He formulated his plans in relation to the House of Rothschild in England, Germany, France, Italy. The Rothschild banking dynasty behind the governments of Europe hired Adam Weishaupt to formulate a plan for the world at that time to accomplish certain goals for those in power. That plan came to be known as the Illuminati plan. Now, you can find most of this material in any library, any encyclopedia, under the word Illuminati, which comes from, obviously, the word illumine, to be enlightened, to be in the light. 1776 is when Adam Weishaupt founded this order, and that's why, of course, in Soviet Union and other communist countries, that May 1st is considered to be the important day to all communist uh, revolutionaries because Adam Weishaupt founded the Illuminati on May 1st. This you will find, as I said, in any encyclopedia. The, uh, the bait that was laid by Adam Weishaupt for control of peoples was a very old and tried uh, project. It was called democracy, a people's democracy. Adam Weishaupt like many of us before him, understood that democracy has never worked, is not working now, and never will work. Basically because of the reason that people, while they could be and are the power of any government, the people are always the power of a government. And that on the surface, democracy seems to be the best of all possible worlds. Democracy is a very bad form of government because the people can be misled. Because democracy means, it comes from the word demos, meaning mob. A mob in the street is a demos. Demosocracy, ocracy meaning rule. Demosocracy or democracy means mob rule, the rule of the mob. Now when we put it into more Americanized political terms, it's the rule of the people. And while that may sound good in print, the founders of democracy in our modern day form realize that the people can be manipulated into accepting whatever they want the people to, to accept. Let's go on with um, the subject of the Illuminati and its symbols. You will find the symbol of this secret society on the back of a one dollar bill. On the back of the dollar bill, on the left hand side, you will see the pyramid with an all seeing eye, the eye of Horus, the Egyptian god of light, the Egyptian god, God's son. And you will see beneath the pyramid, 1776, spelled out in Roman numerals, 
and the um, words Anut Kopias over the top of the pyramid. Anut Kopias is translated to mean our enterprise. Anut, our enterprise. Kopias is translated to mean has been crowned with success or is crowned with success. Therefore, Anut Kopias is our enterprise is now a success. And then to find out what enterprise that was a success as on the bottom of the pyramid, Novus Ordo Seclorium, the new order of the world, the new world order. Keep in mind, too, that what the government, what your government pays for, it gets. If you are paid to do something for the government, they will extract from you exactly what they have paid for. When we understand that, then we look at universities and schools, government-financed institutions of education, and see the kind of students and the kind of education that's being turned out by these government-financed schools. Logic will tell you that if what is being turned out in those schools was not in accord with what the state and the federal government wanted, then it would change it. The bottom line is that the government is getting what they have ordered. They're getting what they have paid for. They do not want your children to be educated. They do not want you to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, game shows, television shows, amusement parks, drugs, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained so that you don't get in the way of important people by doing too much thinking. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. And all American citizens, I think, have suspected something like this is going on. But we're all too busy trying to stay alive and live our lives. And after all, what can one person do about it? One person can do nothing. But a nation educated can do much. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free.